Once again, welcome to my YouTube channel, Maths with Ease by Mr. Kamotho. And I want to explain some questions in exercise Foster, even as we are nearing the end of the topic, specifically question number 17, question number 21, and question number 22 of the first topic, number six, exercise Foster. And in question number 17, we are expected to find out the whole of these. And as you can see, there is 5 over 7 by itself raised to power negative 2 over 3, upon which it is again raised to power negative 3. And we have had several standards or laws of indices. For example, we have when a is raised to power a, and again it is raised to power b, then the whole of this becomes a raised to power ab, the product of those two indices. And there is no difference here. So we have 5 over 7, 5 over 7 raised to power minus 2 over 3 times 3, which is 2. And I would want us to talk about minus 2 over 3 times minus 3 by 3, 1 by 3 minus 1, and minus 2 times minus 1 is 2. So in this case, we have now... 5 squared all over 7 squared, which is 25 over 49. And that is it. So in question 21 and question 22, uh, which is just down here, we are supposed to solve for x. And you will realize that there is 4 over 5 raised to power x which is equals to 25 over 16. And we know that um, 4 is so much related to 16 and 5 is so much related to 25. So before we can even go to uh, flipping the terms, we can rewrite this one in terms of 4 over 5 raised to power x, which is equals to 5 squared because 25 can be written as 5 squared, so that 5, they are of the same base, 5 and 5, all over 4 squared. And this is, this is power x, sorry. So we can have it this way, 4 over 5 raised to power x is equal to 5 over 4 squared. And you can now see, we simply need to flip either of the two, so that they can be equal, the numerator will be agreeing with the numerator, and the denominator will be agreeing with the denominator. So we have 4 over 5 raised to power x is equal to 4 over 5 raised to power. Now this positive becomes negative 2. And as you can see, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, and the bases are similar and therefore the indices must also be equal. So by all means, x is equals to negative 2. We go to question number 22, and we meet a question that looks like 49 over 64 raised to power x is equals to 8 over 7, uh, automatically raised to power 1. And again, 49 is so much related with 7 than it is related to 8, and 64 is so much related to 8 than it is related to, to 7. So we can start by first of all flipping them over so that we can have 49 all over 64 raised to power x is equal to 7 over 8 raised to power negative 1. Now that the power here was positive 1, now the new power is negative 1. 
In this case, now we can write 49 in terms of 7 by having 7 squared over 8 squared raised to power x, which is equals to 7 over 8 raised to power negative 1. Incidentally, uh, this is going to be 7 over 8 raised to power uh, 2, upon which is again raised to power x, is equals to 7 over 8 raised to power negative 1. And it goes without saying, now we are having 7 over 8, the product of the two indices, which is 2x, is equals to 7 over 8 raised to power negative 1. Again, at this point, the left-hand side is equals to the right-hand side, and the bases are similar. It follows that even the indices must be similar and equal. Therefore, 2x is equals to negative 1. Dividing by 2 and by 2, you will find that x is equals to negative a half. That is it. Let us follow, subscribe, and of course share and comment. And let us meet in the next video. Thank you.